Hey, what's happening? This is Jerry here with Wealth Dynamics coming at you live this morning. And I want to talk to you about the myths that are out there about money. And I want to just find out what some of yours are. So today, this morning at 10, actually probably closer to 930 my time, I'm going to be doing a, a, a training with my team on money. We're going to be talking about money myths that are out there and the top ones that we grew up with. So like, what is a money myth? When you think about a money myth, it's something that you probably either now or at one point thought was true. Turns out it's not, right? So like one of the money myths that I remember growing up with was that money doesn't grow on trees. What do you think paper's made out of, bro? Trees. Money grows on trees. Okay. Not only that, Money's actually more abundant than trees. They can print money. At least trees take a while to grow. So those are myths, right? Those are things that aren't true about money, things that we learned growing up. So I want to know what some of yours are. A couple more of the ones that I grew up with were um, a penny saved is a penny earned. I remember that one. I heard that a lot. A penny saved is a penny earned. Another one I learned growing up was don't spend it all in one place. What the hell do you think Costco is? Like somebody literally just did the opposite of what they, they told us about don't spend it all in one place. And they're like, dude, I'm going to build a store where they spend it all in one place. Same thing with Amazon. Jeff Bezos is, a, is the richest man in the world because he built a place where you can spend it all in one place. What are some more money myths? I remember learning debt was bad. Uh, I remember learning that I needed to save for a rainy day. Never once have I actually used more money just because it rained. I don't, I don't know the deal behind that one. Um, let's see, what's another one? Money is the root of all evil. Turns out poverty is. Like I grew up in poverty, I remember that. That was the root of all evil if you ask me. I've been on both sides and, and I don't think money is the root of all evil at all. Um, what's another one? Money can't buy you happiness. No one ever said that it could. But I've noticed that because I have money, I can do a lot more things that do make me happy and make other people happy. Uh, money is not everything. Again, no one ever said it was. Money doesn't grow on trees. That's an excellent one, Joseph. So guys, I want to get some of the ideas that you were taught about money growing up. Things that, you know, maybe you think they're true now. How about this one? Pay off your house. Why would you pay off your house? The reason why you would pay off your house, you're, you're trying to do something smart. I can acknowledge that. You're trying to get rid of what you believe to be your biggest household expense. And by doing so, you would not have to work as hard. Now, the only reason that you would do that is you didn't have confidence in your ability to regenerate the income. Bottom line, like you don't have confidence in your ability to regenerate the income, that's why you would try and pay off your house early. Uh, what's another one? Never borrow money. That was another one that I got, like never borrow money. Uh, like debt is slavery. I was actually very into Dave Ramsey for a while. I was an endorsed local provider for Dave for investing in five different states. So I was preaching the gospel of being debt free. And what I realized was all of the super wealthy have used debt. Try and, try and do a real estate deal without debt. Not only that, fundamentally when you understand what money is, you realize money is debt. By definition, money is debt. The cash you have in your bank is debt. It's not actually any sort of equitable value. So guys, we're going to be doing a team training and I'm going to try and live stream this for you at 9.30 my time. That's going to be in an hour in an hour and my team and I are going to be talking about top money myths. The things we were taught about money, the things that we grew up learning about money, hearing about money. Maybe you think they're true today or you know, maybe you've realized at this point in life that they're not true and they're not helpful, they're not beneficial. So guys, make sure you tune in. Thank you for watching, like, share, subscribe. Again, this is Jerry with Wealth Dynamics bringing you purpose, wealth, and freedom. I'll talk to you guys next time.